I ran across a tent right along the edge of the trail. Somebody who's got all of their stuff hanging on a clothesline. Um, but rain is coming. It's a little sprinkly right now, so hopefully they wake up and rescue their stuff before it gets wet again. Poison ivy on the right. Poison ivy on the left. I mean, it's a miracle I haven't gotten poison ivy already. Pretty warm morning. This is the first time I've gone um, without my long sleeves on. It's been really, really nice weather um, all along. And this isn't bad, but a little bit of a steep uphill climb and uh, warm and humid this morning. So looking forward to a nice walk. Well, these tracks are kind of curious. At first when I saw them, I assumed they were dog tracks, but I don't see any claw marks. And they're relatively big. Those white stripes on my trekking pole are um, an inch apart. Just survived the longest gauntlet of poison ivy ever. I think I made it through unscathed. It doesn't look like I'll be getting much views today. There are mountains out there. Having a little lunch break <clears throat> here at a little overlook of more hidden mountains. I just noticed that both the cheese and the sausage that I'm eating that I purchased at the outfitter there in Neil Gap, they're both from Wisconsin. Night before last, when I was camping at Jared Park, I woke up to somebody snorting at me. Somebody got wind of me and gave a big snort, and then maybe an hour later, I heard it snort again in the same general direction. And I thought initially it was a deer, but the snort was quite different from the snorts I'm used to. So now I don't know, is that just a southern uh, whitetail snort versus a northern whitetail snort? I mean, in Wisconsin and Michigan, when you hear a deer snort, it's like all air, like And this was more uh, like vibration of nasal passages or lips or something, you know, more it sounded almost like someone blowing their nose, like, pff, pff, I can't do it, but well, I don't know, is that a deer just with a congestion issue or do bear snort? I mean, it didn't make a lot of noise moving through the brush, so I didn't think it was a bear, but something to ponder. Anyways, if you know about snorting, let me know, leave a comment. <laughs> Check out all this meadow rue. It's got these tall shoots go straight up into the air. Some of them have uh, what look like old blooms. But I mean, we're talking 70 feet tall in some cases, all along the trail. I had no idea meadow rue got that tall. I don't know if I've seen it over three feet back home. Now there's the track of a cat for sure, a small cat. Of course, you never know, maybe some hikers hiking on the trail with their house cat. Wouldn't put it past them. This is not poison ivy. This is Virginia creeper. But that's poison ivy. Should I stop talking about poison ivy? I don't think so. Maybe an hour ago, I ran into two guys coming out of the woods and one of the guys had a one of those long two-handled hand saws, you know, like a four foot long thing. This is their handiwork. It's worth it to carry in a two-handled saw rather than trudge this far with a chainsaw. But I have to say, trail maintenance the whole way has been amazing. I think I've had to cross or go around one deadfall. Look at that. I don't really know my snakes that well. That might be a worm snake. This is what it looks like. A view from my sleeping bag underneath the tarp. There's my feet down there. Nice location. <laughs> 